Hello everyone. Welcome to Research Circle YouTube channel. Our today's topic is how to use WeTransfer to send a files. Well, WeTransfer is a tool which helps us to send a multiple files which are big in size uh, without making any sign up or login. So we are going to see how to send the big files on Gmail without uh, using a Google Drive. So before going ahead, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel. We have crossed 2500 plus subscribers and reaching to a uh, further goal of 3000 subscribers. Those who haven't subscribed to our Research Circle YouTube channel, I request them to please do subscribe it. Let's uh, move toward our today's topic. So simply in Google, what I will do, I will type WeTransfer. So WeTransfer is a tool which is like product uh, developed in Netherlands. Initially, the name was WeTransfer. And in October 2018, this WeTransfer relaunched its app with the name Collect by WeTransfer. So all we need to do is just click on this website and this display will come up. Now, they have the multiple products. You have to make sure you have to understand that if you want to send a file without making a sign up or using the premium version of this product, the maximum size which is allowed is less than 2 GB. So till 2 GB, you can send any file without making any sign up or login. So the process is very simple. All we need to do is to click on this add your file or select a folder. Now, for example, I, I have this folder Max Audio Pro. What I will do, I will click on the upload button. You always have to click on the upload button. Otherwise, you won't see any other files even if it is available. They are like selecting only the zip and the folders. So I'm clicking on the upload file. They are asking me whether it is a, if you upload this, if you feel that it is a trusted site. So we feel it is a trusted site. Now, three things are here. One is email to, that means the email to which you want to send your file. Second is your email, from which email ID you want to send. And third is message. You, if, if you want to include any remark, you can go ahead. Now, for example, I want to send my files to research circle 2020 at gmail.com. Now, again, in addition to that, I want to send the file from the same email ID. And if I want to send to multiple email IDs, I can send it. Like research circle 2020 at gmail.com, I already mentioned here. Again, if I'll click on email to and put another email ID, so it will go to two email IDs. Now, message, I would be typing, you can type anything random, not necessary, it should be relevant. So, transferring Max Pro files. Now, if I click on the transfer, let's see how it goes. But what I want to do, my intent is to transfer a file from research circle 2020 at gmail.com to a email ID research circle 2020 at gmail.com. Same email ID. Now, two things we can do. If you click on this three button, three dot button, you will get to see first is send email transfer. That means your file will be transferred directly through email. And second is get a transfer link. So you the transfer link will get generated and that link you can share it with that email id okay so i'm clicking on the transfer button and i just want to send it to the email now uh, to check whether the email id is genuine or not what they are done they have asked us to verify your email they have sent one verification code on research circle 2020 at gmail.com which is the email id from where you have sent it so i'm i have already opened my email id and i believe that i have got the code which is 46 Two double five two. So I'm clicking here, pasting here, and clicking on verify. Now my files are transferring. It is almost done. Okay, great. So you are done. The download email has been sent. Your transfer is available for seven days. So after seven days, automatically this file get expired because we haven't used the premium version. We haven't uh, done the like sign up process and all those stuff. So let me check whether it is available in my email ID. Yes. So if I click on this button, your file were sent successfully to research circle 2020 at gmail.com. And here I can see the download link. Now here from here, I can download my folders. So basically what I done here, I use the same email ID for both the things. So that's why uh, it is sent from that email ID only and received on that email ID only. So you can use the multiple email ID. So I hope you understand the process of how to transfer the file through the WeTransfer tool. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much.